this is Arlene. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to be uh, giving you a tutorial on how I'm going to alter this photo display, this Kaiser Craft photo display, and I'll be using Graphic 45's Place and Time paper collection. You've probably seen these uh, papers multiple times on my channel because I've been using them quite a bit. But what I'm going to be doing is creating this altered photo tray with a couple of photos from my wedding my husband and I, and I'm going to be focusing mostly on the June cut aparts. Now I have the eight by eight here and the larger 12 by 12 here. You guys can see that. And I took out two of the 12 by 12s. And then I also took out some of the April foundation because I was married in April. So I'm going to be using some of these, which is really nice because the pinks obviously cross over. They're very nice, uh, complement each other very nicely. And I'll be using probably the April foundation. I'm probably going to grab the the 8x8 page versus using the 12x12. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay, so place and time. I'm also going to be incorporating a bunch of fun embellishments on the photo tray. I'm not sure exactly what it is that I'm going to use at the moment, but I have some chicken wire that I've already painted with some acrylic paint. I'm probably going to distress the tray itself with some acrylic paint, and this is just the warm white Americana acrylic paint that you can get at Michael's. I'm going to incorporate a bunch of different Graphic 45 Staples products. You'll see a metal tag, butterfly, uh, the ornate key. I also have here one of the hinges, one of the small hinges. I'll figure out how I'm going to put that on there. I have a keyhole, and then I also have the label holder. So I'll figure out how I'm gonna incorporate that. I also grabbed the ornate metal door plate and knob. I'm probably gonna figure out how I'm gonna incorporate the door plate onto this project. I had a random metal button left on this pack, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to incorporate that into the project. And I also have some of the metal brads from the Staples products. Okay, so those are my Graphic 45 products. Um, I'll probably try to sneak some other things in there. I have these vials by Tim Holtz. I'll probably try to put those in there. Uh, I really like the sentiment, A Moment in Time. So this is by Imaginarium Designs. I'm gonna incorporate that into the project. I have also these little frames from Imaginarium Designs. Um, this Flourish set. And then I also have this little frame. I'm thinking I can probably lay over that. Uh, if you guys can see that. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. I have a little heart and then I also have this dress form with the skirt that I might incorporate. So what I usually do when I start a project is I go into my scrap room and I just grab a whole bunch of different supplies to see exactly how I might incorporate some of them into the project. And then if I don't use them, that's okay. Um, I have a lot of different random embellishments and so I like to at least pull some out so I can figure out how I might incorporate it. This is really pretty. I got this from Iraq. I really love that. Uh, so I just pull out a lot of different things that I can figure out how I can incorporate it into the project. This is some lace that I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, some hangers by Tim Holtz. And then I also have some of the facets. I got this random chain. I don't know where this came from, but it was in my scrap supplies and stuff. So you'll see I have like some pearl, uh, trim from my friend Carla's Etsy and then I have this bird cage that I'm going to somehow try to incorporate. I grabbed a whole bunch of different trims for the project and then I also grabbed just a whole bunch of like different I am roses that I'll probably incorporate into the project. Of course the infamous doilies. I'll probably cut these a little bit and incorporate them into the project and then I created these little stick pins. I don't know I'm somehow going to try to put them in there but you can buy these glass top stick pins on Etsy. I bought it a long time ago, you guys, so I'm not sure who the seller is, sorry. But, um, and then I have these rhinestone caps. Um, I don't know if you guys can see these, but these are really nice, they're really pretty. And a pearl. So basically you just stick the stick pin into the rhinestone cap and stick the stick pin through the pearl. And you can use some E 6,000 or gloss, glossy accents to hold it all together, but that's the stick pen. So I'm going to somehow try to figure out how to incorporate that in there. So, so anyways, that's my preparation. Go ahead and sit back. I'm going to go ahead and create this altered photo tray for you guys. 